There is white urad lentils, split yellow peas, chili flakes, cumin, fennel seeds, peppercorn, green coriander, and chili flakes I've already mentioned. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to dry roast the curry leaves, the lentils, yeah, the peppercorn, the fennel and the cumin. We're going to dry, ro dry roast this, okay? And you will see that I haven't used the chili flakes into it. Can you smell the aroma? It's quite, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very flavorsome. And I have done this, as I said to you, I've done this for you beforehand. I mean, so I'm going to just send the crust off to you. All you need to do is marinate your fish. Okay, so we're going to coarsely we are going to coarsely crush this. That's what the crust will come out like, yeah? And that is the crust in which we are going to coat the fish. My colleagues here will be giving you out some, some fish. And that's the next thing we are going to be doing. A generous pinch of thing, a little bit of lemon juice, salt. You got the piece of fish nicely, nicely coated. And don't be scared of the spice or don't be scared of the, the lentils. Mind you, your oil's coming to a heat. I think my pan would be about ready. So I'm for the fish, you've got to be very, very careful and very, very gentle with this. I want to give it a minute, max two minutes. If it's as slow as mine, and if it's really cooking off really slowly, it's not a problem at all. You can cook it longer in the pan. Okay, for the yogurt rice, I'm going to prepare a tempering of mustard seeds and curry leaves. A little bit of onion. A little bit of carrots. What I've done is I've just mixed up some boiled rice, plain simple boiled rice with some plain natural yogurt. Okay, seasoned with some salt, tempered, tempered of some curry leaves and mustard seeds, added a bit of, added a bit of onions and some carrot into it. So a bit of coriander into it. We're going to just add it to the, to the rice. Your fish is cooked, just give it another couple of minutes when it's turned around and we'll send it off to the oven. What I've done is um, I'm going to do you a, a green mango and coconut chutney. So it's just like a sambal but you know, so a pretty generous amount of green mangoes. A bit of red chilli powder, some green chilli, some garlic, probably equal quantities of um, grated coconut and green mango. Okay. So it's just, it's, it's halfway through the mixing process. But they're just the beautiful colors of red chili powder, a bit of garlic, green mango, a little bit of salt. The lentil crusted tilapia with yogurt rice and a green mango and coconut chutney would look like or could look like.